Hey guys, it's race week and before I can go racing I have a really big bike rebuild project with my suspension because I received the world famous Racetech gold valves for my Honda CR250R 2001. So we're going to try to make this bike even faster. And if you know a lot about race bikes, you know that actually good suspension makes the bike faster because the suspension is what makes it possible to control the bike when the bike is going fast. Most people can't even ride a bike full throttle like uh, for extended periods of time on the track. So that's where the suspension comes in handy. We're also going to change the fork seals and valve springs. And we have another couple of things. We need to weld the exhaust. Let's have a look at that. So we also need to weld a crack in the exhaust here. Yesterday I noticed it sounded a bit funny. Um, like the exhaust was starting to have a hole and that's the explanation for that. I also have to pin, pin this bolt at the bottom because they tend to come loose. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to change the rear tire 40. You can see how worn out this one is. So we got a new one. And then we're going to change the water pump seal as well because it was slightly leaking yesterday and when you go racing you don't want to spend time fixing your bike at the track you just want it to work so with that out of the way let's get started Okay guys, so now I'm done with this assembly and I'm also done preparing the new shim stack for the compression here. And I've lined them up according to the specifications from Racetech. So these numbers here takes into account my body weight and my skill level and my age, basically my riding style you could say. So then they are going to be assembled with the new gold valves and let's try to compare it with the original. So I'll just take this, this off temporarily. So here you can, you can see this original versus gold valve. So the gold valve, it allows more oil flow and better adjustability and more customization, which results in a plusher feel on the initial stroke. So all the small bumps feels more smooth and then it also has better bottoming resistance which I look forward to trying and then it comes with a nice manual for assembly here the whole assembly goes on right here and it's gonna be torqued up and put back in the bike with fresh oil and good to go then here we have the new gold valves installed with my personalized shim stack right here and also some spacers there. So super excited to try that. Get that in there and test ride it hopefully tomorrow. Now we're done changing the new seals, new fork seals. And we're going to assemble everything with some fresh fork oil. Okay guys, and I have a little suspension tip. And that is you can judge the quality of your seals. So we're using OEM seals here. Um, by how well the fork tube slides up and down when it's not connected. Uh, if we look up here a bit, without connecting it here to the cap, the outer fork tube, then sliding it up and down. And then feel how little resistance there is. It's called stiction. Um, and then I have another tip that can actually make your suspension perform better. And that is to use 
a bit of WD-40 just directly on the fourth tube a little bit like that and then just like wipe it around so it's all over the place here just a tiny little bit it creates a film that lubricates the dust seal and you can feel immediately there's a lot less stiction if you use this tip so wiping your your lower fork tubes with WD-40 makes it operate smoother and that will make it operate better okay now let's add 400 milliliters of fork oil oh and here's another tip um, don't buy these pyramid parts fork seals and bushings that was what I had in before and they had a lot of stiction, they didn't perform well and they were slightly leaking just a tiny bit all the time. And the bushings, they had a lot of uh, metal particles come off them, uh, I could see in the oil. So I actually went back to change the bushings to original. They were like really cheap on eBay so I wanted to test them but not worth the money for sure. Okay and now it's time for the rear suspension. So we got the subframe off and the seat. and. And we're gonna clean this up and disassemble it. And then over here we got the um, shock golf valve and shims down here. There's a lot of shims. And here's the forks. They already have race tech suspension in there now. Okay, so now it's time to take off the shock valve stack. Like this. Okay, and then we're going to assemble the new gold valve from Racetech with a new shim stack. So we're going to look into our digital spreadsheet about which shims to put in there. Okay, so now we got the new valve stack and the gold valve installed on the rear suspension shock. And we're going to put it all back together with some fresh suspension oil. Let's go! Okay, so now the shock is almost completely assembled with the new race tech valve. So let's just try to compress it to see it moves normal. And it extends by itself. Yeah, all good. And we've got a new IRC tire on. VX40, hard pack specific. Okay, and then we got the um, Painted spring. Just fresh the look up a bit. Let's put this on here. This one. And let's put this lock clip on. It's pretty amazing to think about how much weight and load this steel ring can hold. And then we're just gonna tighten up the spring. And I measured. The threading here needs to be about 14.4 millimeters visible up here. Then I know I'm gonna have my correct sack from last time. Okay, and now we got the shock on. And the last thing we're gonna do is put on a race tick sticker. That looks good. And we also changed the exhaust seals. Had a look at the piston, looks good. There's a small dent, no problemo. And here's the new shock setup with race tech. So let's just put a race tech sticker on the shock too. There we go. It shouldn't get scratched off by the boots. And I already set up the clickers as recommended by the Racetech DVS sheet. Yeah, so it was super exciting to get out and try the Racetech gold valve suspension. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to make sure that you see the next video, subscribe and hit that bell button. And then you can see the next video where I test the suspension and try different settings to fine tune it to my liking. And to see if I can get really fast for the next big race I'm going to do and I have a surprise 
it's gonna be a bigger race than usual. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one. To watch the full version of my advanced writing videos and support the development of this channel, click the join button below and become a member. And thereby you will get access to exclusive videos where I go through the most advanced skill levels and also explaining things from a physics standpoint because I have a background in science and thereby studying physics. So I'm able to explain actual riding technique and the mechanics of riding also bike setup in a way that you don't see on many other channels. Also I share my own step-by-step -step methods on how I track my own progress and riding technique development. So if you're interested in that, consider becoming a member and clicking the join button. And if you like tropical island holidays, visit fitcamp5.com for my two-time TripAdvisor award-winning training camp where we train fitness and action sports together while learning to live a healthy lifestyle and maybe most importantly, have fun at the same time. And if you're really serious about improving yourself, you should definitely check out my full online courses where I share step-by-step -step programs on how I develop my own routines over the last 12 years as a CEO working in four different countries while being a successful competitive athlete with more than 20 years of experience in fitness and nutrition. Check the link in the description for that. And in any case, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, be awesome, believe in yourself and see you on the next one.